Hey guys, Rob here at 3D Printscape. So since I released the video on the X Plus 3, I've had a couple people reach out to ask if the heated chamber really made a difference. Uh, so I decided to test that using some uh, ABS that I had. Uh, so essentially what I did here was I did three sets of prints. This first set here was printed with the door open and the top off, getting as close to simulating a non-enclosure as I could. Uh, the second set here was printed at 30 degrees Celsius uh, for the chamber temperature and the third set was at 40. I was going back and forth between setting this at 30 or just leaving it set to nothing just with everything closed uh, but with everything closed up the temperature got close to about 30 degrees anyway because it heats up pretty quick and there from the bed being at 100 um, which is needed for the ABS. Uh, so I just went with 30. Um, one thing to note though with the heated enclosure is it doesn't regulate temperature. So a lot of times it's going to be higher than what it was actually set to. So it's going to get it up to that temperature and then um, it will continue to increase a little bit just from the heat of the build plate. Um, I guess and the hot end too, but mainly just the build plate. So let's go ahead and zoom in on these prints. I wanted to show you some of the differences between the different prints. And then at the end, I'll go over what my actual findings were for this. If you have any questions about what I covered or like to see any other videos, uh, go to leave a comment below or join us on Discord. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks. All right, guys, like I mentioned, I ran three sets of prints. Uh, this set right here was with the enclosure open, so trying to get as close to no enclosure as possible. Uh, this right here was with the enclosure closed and the temperature set to 30 degrees Celsius. And this is with the enclosure closed and the temperature set to 40 degrees Celsius. So I wanted to show you the difference in the results here. Uh, so I'm going to try to get as close as I can with the camera on each of the different ones, kind of showing the differences. Some of them are small. Um, also, I wanted to make a note here that I did minimal cleanup on any of these. All right, guys. So the first one I wanted to show you here is a calibration cube. I printed at 250% scale. On the left here, I got the one with the enclosure open and then uh, 30 degrees and 40 degrees Celsius. One of the biggest differences I saw was with no heated enclosure. Uh, it was warped here at the bottom on all four corners. Um, I was going to run another test basically with the enclosure closed, uh, but that almost got up to 30 degrees anyways, uh, just from the heat of everything running. Uh, so I didn't think it was too valid. Uh, so I ended up just doing, like I said, the uh, no enclosure of 30 degrees and 40 degrees uh, because the 30 degrees was pretty much the same as the enclosure closed and without the heat going. It just got to that temperature a tad bit quicker. Outside of that, I didn't really see any major differences. Um, the letters all look pretty good. The bottoms were pretty good on the heated enclosure side. Flipping it over to the X side, I did notice less ghosting or banding at the 40 degrees, so you might be able to get better results. Uh, I would recommend uh, running a temperature tower at different temperatures on the filament and on the enclosure to see what works best for the filament you're working with. Then flipping it over to the Y side, um, pretty much the same as I was showing on the X. The 40 degrees has slightly better uh, corners here, edges, and uh, it's uh, a little less banding uh, overall. So with printing this calibration cube with ABS, I would say you want an enclosure with some sort of heat. Uh, the no enclosure, the bases were just warped and it really had elephant foot on all the corners. So that can be a huge issue, um, depending on what you're trying to print. Uh, but if you have an enclosure, you can just set the temperature between 30 and 40 degrees and you'll get much better results on the uh, bottom and around the edges. So let's go and look at this calibration ruler next. All right, here I got a calibration ruler that I printed. Um, again, on the left here is no enclosure, then 30 degrees and 40 degrees. Uh, first thing I noticed was there is a warp on the bottom of this one pretty bad. Uh, you can see the bowing here a little bit. Uh, that is barely present here, but not really at all. And then on the 40 degrees here, it's not present at all. Um, it's really not here either. Uh, you can, it's minimal, but here on the 40, it just had better adhesion, I think. Um, but yeah, definitely an issue with no enclosure. Right, flipping it over, looking at the bottoms, uh, they all look pretty clean, uh, except for the warps that I just mentioned. Um, there is a little bit of uh, stringing or burning here, um, but th it's not really present on either one of those two. Uh, so definitely noticeable differences with the enclosure. Alright, then flipping it over, then zooming in a little bit more here. Uh, 
you can see that there is some issues with string and stuff on the one with no enclosure and it got progressively better as we went up in temperature there's less stringing on a lot of this uh, it's just cleaner overall uh, so there's definitely a noticeable difference there even going up in temperature the printer says you can go up to 55 degrees celsius with abs um, for the enclosure temperature it might be worth actually printing a test of this up to like 50 to see if there's any noticeable difference um, but if there's not it's not worth using the extra power uh, but i think there's definitely a noticeable difference here at the 40 degree all right on this side where it's just the base and it's writing the numbers on top of it uh, everything looks pretty similar uh, the stringing and everything is about the same. Like I said, I did not touch these up at all. Just took them right off the build plate after it cooled down. Uh, so not a huge difference on this side. I would say the biggest differences I'm seeing is on anything where it's tied to the actual base or bottom of the print. Then looking at the Z-axis where it's going up here with the different um, sizes, not really seeing much of a difference. They're all pretty similar, uh, so not a huge difference there. All right, then zooming in as close as I can on these benches, uh, the one here with no enclosure has a lot more straining, uh, just all around in general. Uh, the bottom does have the warps that we saw with the other prints as well. 30 degree one here looks pretty good overall. I haven't, I didn't see any real issues, not much stringing. Uh, the bottom looks pretty good. Uh, looking at the 40 degree, I thought was kind of odd. Not much stringing, there is a little bit more, um, but there is, some issues uh, right there it's like almost scarring or something uh, so for this print I think the 30 degree temperature ended up working out best uh, but you definitely wanted a heated enclosure of some sort because this one was just really bad overall here I printed hollowed out pyramids to use as an example uh, this one here with no enclosure has quite a bit of stringing let me try to zoom in a little bit here um, I don't know if I can actually get this good on the camera, but these edges here are pretty rough. Um, the one here at 30 degrees looks much better. The edges are a lot cleaner. It doesn't have any of the um, roughness on them. And bottom looks good. Um, oh, this one did have a little bit of warping on the corners as well. And then at 40 degrees, um, the bottom was good here, uh, did have a little bit of stringing, um, but what I thought was odd was it did have some of the roughness here that it had without the enclosure. Uh, so uh, this is an example of where the 30 degrees won, it was the better overall. So what I'm seeing with these examples is it really comes down to what you're printing as far as the temperature needed inside the enclosure, um, but with ABS having the enclosure definitely helps quite a bit. All right, the last set of examples I have here are these hollowed out um, little boxes. Um, here, the one without the enclosure, uh, the bridging, let me actually try to turn all three of these up a little bit. Uh, here, I'm trying to hold these up at the angle here at the side, uh, but you can see that the bridging it has a lot of issues here on the one that did not have the enclosure and was about the same on the other two. Um, the one without the enclosure did also have noticeable gaps at the top here which you can see um, and it didn't really have any warping at the bottom but I don't know if it was just because of the size of the print or what uh, but no warping but uh, the quality around the edges were pretty close all in all between that uh, between the three uh, the biggest thing on this one was really the bridging and the gaps at the top Hopefully you guys are able to see what I was pointing out. It was kind of difficult to get this camera to zoom in that much and actually be able to show those, but that's why I did them side by side to try to uh, make it as close or as visible as I could. Uh, but really to recap here, um, if you are not running an enclosure at all, uh, you're just going to have a lot of issues uh, with warping or elephant foot issues in general. Uh, and then there was a lot of just miscellaneous issues um, of, with bridging and stuff uh, that was fixed with the enclosure or some heat. Uh, I would say in about 
50% of the scenarios, the 30 degree was a little bit better than the 40, uh, but in some of them, the 40 was better. So it might be worth playing around with it a little bit, depending upon what you're printing and the filament you're using. So this is Hatchbox uh, ABS. Uh, so it's a good filament, but for most of the prints I would be doing with this filament, I'll be sticking to around 30 degrees Celsius for the uh, chamber temperature. Um, just based on the sample set, it seemed to just be the best overall. Uh, like I said, some of them were a little bit better at 40, uh, but for most cases, 30 was just fine, and that's what I would end up going with for most of the prints I would be doing with this. But with that said, if you don't have any closure at all, you will have some issues with ABS. I mean, just the elephant foot issue in general was pretty bad, especially with some of the cubes, and then the warping at the bottom of uh, this one was uh, pretty noticeable as well. Well, hopefully that helped answer the questions you guys were having. If there are any other ones, uh, go ahead and let me know. You can reach out in YouTube comments or uh, ping me on Discord.